Hello Sagittarius and Sagittarius Rising. I'm Michelle with Angel Souls and this is your general overview for 2014. And I am using the Angel Chatter Oracle deck by Christine Alexandria. And I'm just gonna pull four cards. I did start shuffling a bit before I started recording and one card jumped out. So whatever the first card is, that is a very powerful message coming to you for this year. So, Sagittarius, let's see. What is on deck for you, my loves? Okay. I love these cards because they're really huge. They remind me of that game on the Price is Right. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay, but whatever. I like playing with these cards. Okay, so the first card is Archangel Haniel. And Haniel is the angel of joy. And this is a beautiful angel to have pop right up and, and apparently is a strong presence around you for 2014 and the card says the truth step into your heart to see the three sides of every story yours theirs and the truth yeah <laughs> there it is so the key to joy and happiness this year is being fair and and seeing all sides of the story and remembering that everybody's coming from a different place everybody has their perspective and therefore everyone's going to have their opinion so that might not be the same opinion as yours I think you're pretty good at doing that though, maybe kind of letting go when somebody's like trying to, eh, 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 you kind of go, yeah, right, okay. <laughs> Whatever, you go do that and I'm going to keep on with my life, right? So that is Hanio. I, I love that the angel of joy is coming up for you because I think that's a good sign for the rest of the year. And of course, if you're having a low point throughout the year, you need some extra help or whatever, call on her. She's good. Which is good. Actually, you can go to angelchatter.com, um, Christine Alexander, Alexandria. Yeah, Alexandria at her website, and she sells angel sprays. And one of them is Hanio. I have one over there, and I love them. So, just a little thing for you to remember. Okay, so the next card is Hanio again. Yeah, you got to go to that website and buy some angel spray. <laughs> and it says, Loving Truth. And it says, speaking your truth from the reservoir of love will attract all forms of love. This actually came up for another sign. So this is about stepping into your truth, being your authentic self, and then watching all the love in different areas of your life come flooding in. Okay? And, and it's just a flow. Love between strangers. Like just going down the street and you just randomly want to do something kind for them because why not? It feels good to do that, right? So it's that kind of thing. Emanating kindness, compassion, and watching it flow back to you so it can flow back out of you and so on and so forth. You so far have two cards from Haniel. All right, guys? So when an angel is making their presence known that clearly through oracle cards, don't ignore that, okay? That means that angel is buzzing around you or you have called that angel in and she is working with you currently. So depending on where you are with, with your angel work, okay? But if you haven't spoken to Haniel yet, do it as soon as this video is over and ask her for a sign. Ask her for a sign in the physical world that she's there and she'll give it to you. She's smiling. She will give it to you. She'll come right to you. <laughs> Next card, Gabriel. You know how much I love Gabriel. And he says, manifest. Inspiration is the source of all manifestation. What are your heart's inspirations? So this is asking you to, to figure out what it is that you want. You've been unclear about this. You think you know what you want, but what does that mean? Oh, I want to love. Well, what kind of love? Uh, romantic love. Well, what does that romantic love look like? Okay. Um, and when we say look like, like, please don't sit there and try to manifest six foot two, dark hair, light eyes. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> what kind of vibration do you want him to have? What values should this, or, or she for that matter, uh, should he or she embody? Those are the kinds of things that you should bring in to your existence to manifest. And you know, across the board with whatever you're wanting in your life, okay? And the final card is Guardian Angel. Whenever this card pops up with any deck that I'm using, um, the same message pops in and they're doing it right now. Don't forget about us. Don't forget that your guides are here. Um, Archangels have become very popular recently because 
they're more prevalent than they ever have been because we're coming up on these super important times. So, um, yeah, they're coming in to kind of like get our attention and because they're kind of um, a grander energy, they're just a bigger energy, uh, they're unmistakable. But the guardian angel, you know, I think this, let me read it, it says, I am I'm always with you, I, I always have been and always will be. They're saying, don't forget, I, I walked into this, this life with you. I was with you on the other side. I watch over you, I care for you. I'm here to help you as well, right? So even more energy for the team <laughs> is what we're saying here. So if I'm just gonna recap quickly here, yeah, they're saying tune into the team around you. We're going to use the word team again. There's a team around you, Sagittarius. Go in there and take advantage of that and, and talk to your guardian angel especially. Um, there is an interesting meditation that you can do where you invite in your, um, your guardian angel and you can ask for that guardian angel's name. Now, when I did this meditation, I could not understand what her name was at all because some of the, um, the guardian angels, they're on a different frequency. So we can't always understand. It's not like they're speaking a human language all the time. So the best I could decipher was that her name was Alzekia. And again, she's saying right now with me, she's giggling with me and she's saying like, <laughs> it's not exactly it. If I were in the angel realm, I would make perfect sense of what her name is. But anyway, so if it's something that isn't even that clear for you, go and get a piece of paper and ask the angel to spell it out. They will do it. That's cool. You should do it. I'm telling you. Okay. So have a wonderful year. I love you so much. And of course, if you want a private reading, you can contact me at angelsouls444.com. Okay. Love you. Bye-bye.